So this is our Alice Chalmers All Crop 60 pull behind combine. I believe it was made in the early 50s. This is what we use to harvest a lot of our grains. And today we're gonna to be using it to harvest some field peas. So I'll do a quick walk around. It is PTO driven. You can kind of see it says all crop 60 on it, or it used to. But I'm going to be showing you some adjustments on it today and how we're going to set it up for our field peas. One of the most important points on this is the grease points. We have these grease cirques fittings like that. Um, they are all around this machine on all of the bearings, all of the moving parts, inside and out. There are grease fittings everywhere. So there is actually a chart in our owner's manual that we got with this that shows all of these grease points. I believe there are around 80 of them to do. You're going to need at least a full tube of grease, if not a, a tube and a half of grease, to do all of the grease points on here. Uh, there are also some grease points underneath the machine. And there are some clean outs. There's a clean out right in here, in this area, that you're gonna wanna get all the crud out of before you go to fire this up. There's also a clean out down at the bottom here of some of these grain elevators that run up to the top into this hopper. And the hopper is offloaded by this auger and the chute that runs up here, and that is actually adjustable to aim down so you can fill feed bags with it or whatever whatever you're putting your feed or seed into. So as the combine moves forward, the sickle bar at the bottom will cut the product and it gets pushed onto the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt will then carry all the stuff up and force it into the spinning drum. And the spinning drum will shell peas out of the pea pods and all of the plant and excess will get pushed up on top of the rack, and this will get pushed out the back of the combine. The peas will then drop down below this rack and go through the rest of the combine. The fan down below pushes air up through the sieve and the upper tray, and this allows the peas to be cleaned and all the dust and dirt to get blown off of them, and they will filter down through the bottom of this and when they get down to the bottom, there's an auger that will take the peas across and bring them up this conveyor. And the conveyor will actually drop the peas out the top into the hopper. So the drum speed adjustment is adjusted by this crank right here. Um, I've got notes on it. The crank, for each revolution clockwise, it will slow the drum down by 25 RPM for one revolution of the crank. Uh, Counterclockwise, we'll speed it up by 25 RPM. So we were doing our wheat. Uh, it was running at about 1400 total RPM on the drum that spins in there. For the peas, it's calling for 850 to 1000 RPM. So we need to slow that down quite a bit. Um, I'm not sure whether it was between 14 and 1600 on the wheat where they had run it before. Uh, when we got this unit, it was already set up for wheat. So I'm going to take it down all the way, slow it down. So I'm going to turn it clockwise until it bottoms completely out. And that will be 
the lowest RPM that it'll go. So this part is adjustment on the uh, drum that spins in here. This right here is your access hole. You're gonna need to get that open and you're gonna have to spin the drum and I'll show you here in a second on the inside until one of the ribs is lined up down here with the bar. And we're gonna have to take a some type of measuring device and measure the distance between those two. And it's gonna be hard to see with the camera, but I'm gonna take a measurement on this here to see what it is. So it looks like that measurement is about uh, 5 sixteenths or so which is the setup for wheat. That's what we did last with this. Um, I'm using my cheat sheet here. The peas need to be set up at 3 8 So we're gonna actually have to move that up a little bit, which means adjusting this, we're gonna have to loosen these four and adjust this up. Now this is only one end of it. The other end is over there. That's gonna be a lot harder to see with the camera, but I'll show you here. This is the drum that spins inside here. And it's this edge right here that goes against the bar that's down at the bottom, down in there. You can almost see it right there where I'm pointing. And that... I'm gonna go ahead and loosen all these. The whole way around. Uh, some of these I already loosened up, but uh, somebody put the wrong bolt in here. To adjust this so to adjust it up I'm actually gonna have to clamp some vice grips to it so it doesn't spin and try to tighten this up a little bit and that should bring this up a little bit for my clearance Okay, we're up to our 3 8 clearance on there between the, the lower piece and the, uh, the drum that spins inside. So now we'll tighten our adjusters back down. And then this side will be done. We'll go around to the other side and do the same. So when we're adjusting this right here, we need to keep track of how many turns are on this nut in order to get that set properly down there. Um, the reason you do that is there is no access panel on that end of it. So you've got the same mechanism here, but you're gonna have to loosen these up and turn that exactly the same on the other end of the drum to make sure that everything's even and it should be set properly. We did uh, two and a half turns on this, so we're gonna do the same on the other end. So I'm going to show you where the adjustment is on this side. You got to crawl up into the center of this. So if you look right here, this is your adjuster. That's what we're going to turn down two and a half turns. And then the jam nuts to tighten it. There's one here and one all the way down in there behind that pulley. I'm going to have to sit on top of the machine in order to do this so I'm not gonna be able to film it. The last adjustment we're gonna do here is on the airflow, which is this fan and it goes through those right there. And this adjusts right here, open and closed to bring those wider open like that or further closed. So for peas, it says two thirds open. So I'm gonna open those two thirds of the way and that should help. So this is another setting that we need to do. Inside here, this is the chaffer on top here, and there's a small wing nut underneath here that you loosen and you can slide this bar left to right. And this is to be set two thirds open. The sieve down below here, same deal. It's supposed to be set half open. These are already set. Um, 
that basically just changes the pitch of these. So we want this two thirds open and these half open. And you can see that they're already in that orientation. So we don't have to do anything with those and it should be ready to go.